prayer begins on page 131 in the Lutheran Book of Worship. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give glory to God, our coming King. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Give glory to God, our coming King. O come, let us worship him. Our second psalm is Psalm 18, verses 1 through 20. Psalm 18, 1 through 20. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my stronghold, my crag and my haven. My God, my rock in whom I put my trust, my shield, the horn of my salvation, and my refuge, you are worthy of praise. I will call upon the Lord, and so shall I be saved from my enemies. The breakers of death rolled over me, and the torrents of oblivion made me afraid. The cords of hell entangled me, and the snares of death were set for me. I called upon the Lord in my distress, and cried out to my God for help. He heard my voice from his heavenly dwelling. My cry of anguish came to his ears. The earth reeled and rocked. The roots of the mountains shook. They reeled because of his anger. Smoke rose from his nostrils and a consuming fire out of his mouth. Hot burning coals blazed forth from him. He parted the heavens and came down with a storm cloud under his feet. He mounted on cherubim and flew. He swooped on the wings of the wind. He wrapped darkness about him. He made dark waters and thick clouds his pavilion. From the brightness of his presence through the clouds, though through the clouds burst hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord thundered out of heaven. The Most High uttered his voice. He loosed his arrows and scattered them. He hurled thunderbolts and routed them. The beds of the seas were uncovered, and the foundations of the world laid bare at your battle cry, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He reached down from on high and grasped me. He drew me out of great waters. He delivered me from my strong enemies and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into an open place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Glory Glory to to the the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and and will be forever. forever. Amen. The hymn is number 24. Come, O precious ransom. Come, O precious ransom, come, only hope for sinful mortals. Come, O Savior of the world, open our to you our portals. Come, your beauty, let us view. Anxiously we wait for you. 
Enter now, my waiting heart, glorious King and Lord most holy. Dwell in me and never leave, though I am but poor and lowly. What vast riches will be mine when you are my guest divine? My hosannas and my psalms graciously receive, I pray you. Evermore as blessed I can, homage I will gladly pay you. And in faith I will embrace life eternal by your grace. Hail, Hosanna, David's son, Jesus, hear our supplication. Let your kingdom, scepter, crown, bring us blessing and salvation, that forever we may sing Hail, Hosanna to our King. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, the second chapter. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. For you have rejected your people, the house of Jacob, because they are full of diviners from the east and of soothsayers like the Philistines. They strike hands with foreigners. Their land is filled with silver and gold, and there is no end to their treasures. Their land is filled with horses, and there is no end to their chariots. Their land is filled with idols. They bow down to the work of their hands, to what their own fingers have made. So man is humbled, and men are brought low. Forgive them not. Enter into the rock and hide in the dust from before the terror of the Lord and from the glory of his majesty. The haughty looks of man shall be brought low. The pride of men shall be humbled and the Lord alone will be exalted in that day. For the Lord of hosts has a day against all that is proud and lofty, against all that is lifted up and high, against all the cedars of Lebanon, lofty and lifted up, and against all the oaks of Bashan, against all the high mountains, and against all the lofty hills, against every high tower, against every fortified wall, against all the ships of Tarshish, and against all the beautiful craft. And the haughtiness of man shall be humbled, and the pride of men shall be brought low, and the Lord alone will be exalted in that day. And the idols shall utterly pass away, and men shall enter the caves of the rocks and the holes of the ground from before the terror of the Lord and from the glory of his majesty when he rises to terrify the earth. In that day, men will cast forth their idols of silver and their idols of gold, which they made for themselves to worship, to the moles and to the bats. They will cast them forth to enter the caverns of the rocks and the clefts of the cliffs from before the terror of the Lord and from the glory of his majesty when he rises to terrify the earth. Turn away from man in whose nostrils is breath, for of what account is he? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from 1 Thessalonians, the third chapter. Therefore, when we could bear it no longer, we were willing to be left behind at Athens alone, and we sent Timothy, our brother and God's servant in the gospel of Christ, to establish you in your faith 
and to exhort you that no one be moved by these afflictions. You yourselves know that this is to be our lot. For when we were with you, we told you beforehand that we were to suffer affliction, just as it has come to pass, and as you know. For this reason, when I could bear it no longer, I sent that I might know your faith, for fear that somehow the tempter had tempted you, and that our labor would be in vain. But now that Timothy has come to us from you, and has brought us the good news of your faith and love, and reported that you always remember us kindly and long to see us as we long to see you. For this reason, brethren, in all our distress and affliction, we have been comforted about you through your faith. For now we live if you stand fast in the Lord. For what thanksgiving can we render to God for you? For all the joy which we feel for your sake before God, praying earnestly night and day, that we may see you face to face and supply what is lacking in your faith. Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus direct our way to you. And may the Lord make you increase and abound in love to one another and to all people as we do to you, so that he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his saints. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, the God, God of Israel. Israel. He, he has come, come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high, shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come, that by your protection we may be rescued from the threatening perils of our sins and saved by your mighty, mighty deliverance. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, the living God, you have put your own eternity in our hearts and have made us to hunger and thirst after you. Satisfy, we pray, the need which you have implanted in us, that we may find you in life and find life in you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Direct us, O Lord, in all our doings with your most gracious favor, and further us with your continual help, that in all our works, begun, continued, and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name, and finally, by your mercy, obtain everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Most mighty and merciful Lord, to whom alone belong issues of life and death. In this time of grievous sickness, we flee unto you for relief. Deliver us, we beseech you, from our peril. Give strength and skill to your ministers of healing. Bless the means of cure, and grant that perceiving how frail is our earthly life, we may apply our hearts unto that heavenly wisdom which leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in an adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen.